Chantal and me are fraternal twins. Emma, what are you doing in there? That means we were born at the same time, but we're not identical. Oh my god, Emma, open up! In fact, we're very... <gasps> Mom! Unidentical. Right, guys, so congratulations on Metal Heart. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, Hugh, what was it about the story of you know, Leah and um, Emma that you wanted to tell? Well, uh, I had sort of talked to Paul Murray, the writer, about sort of telling maybe a teenage story in Dublin, and, uh, and he came back with an idea about two sisters, and one's a goth and one's kind of more got her life sorted out. So, um, not that goth wouldn't have her life sorted out, but she's, um, she's sort of more of the outsider yeah. she, in living a little bit in her sister's shadow, who mm -hmm. kind of feels like she already knows what her whole life is planned out. So we thought it was an interesting sort of way of telling a story and, yeah. and sort of started from there. And um, Jordan, what was it like being Emma, who, someone, you know, um, do you relate to her at all? Yeah, of course, yeah. So she's, um, like I said, like, um, I, I don't usually go in with the intent of playing another character. I just try to find a version of myself. And luckily, like, you know, I was a teenager, so I mm. had attitude and I had, you know, I I was I wanted to be in a band. I wanted to be cool and be different. So yeah. it wasn't hard to like grab at things to become Emma. Mm. And Hugh, you know, you were a child actor. Many will know you as King Louis and Young. Uh, sorry, big fan, big fan of that film. Uh, look that up, Emma. Look that. Look 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 that up, Jordan. I look insane. Yeah, in that film. yeah. The great Three Musketeers. Brilliant. Um, you also were young, Christy uh, uh, Brown. Um, what was it? What kind of uh, um, sorry, uh, tips did you give for the young actors in this film? <laughs> tips. Um, <laughs> advice. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I didn't need to give them advice. Right. I mean, it was more kind of, you know, sort of with, with films, I know I found is just casting, you know, the right people. Mm. You know, that's sort of the job is done, really. I didn't really have to tell. We didn't really talk that much once but we Like were... I said, though, we did talk about, like, family and, yeah. you know, being a teenager and those. You were always telling me about your awkward teenage years yeah. and you were, like, punk and had this weird hairstyle and everything. I looked, <laughs> sorry, so I'm terrible. just out no, here. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, we did do a lot of talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I definitely, and I mean, we all did about yeah. family stuff, and that's even on the script. We talked about how you know yeah. to, to make it to make it work for everybody. So, so I think we all kind of like found it together, went and talking rather than like telling. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which I I thought was really beneficial. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as actor, you know, sometimes myself, like you, you can get too too much direction sometimes, mm -hmm. and yeah. it can be confusing. So yeah. simpler is almost better. And yeah, yeah. I think you like you talking to me, like made me kind of look for it myself whereas if you had it directed me it wouldn't be as authentic it wouldn't be coming from me it so has come from you exactly yeah that's yeah. why because i I've, I've said this in a few interviews now but um uh, hugh is the first like director that has, is also an actor that i've worked with and i i could definitely like tell like it was like a different experience to work with other directors and it was definitely a benefit mm. me so yeah, good job. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the film uh, I found out uh, took twenty days to film. So, what was that like as a as a pace? Was it was it relaxed, or were you kind of going to see your pants? Well, I was sort of saying you you're kind of acting as a director as mm. well because you don't want everyone else to be stressed out mm. if, about time and stuff. So you're you're kind of going, you know, no, loads of time. Let's go again. And <laughs> yeah. you know, of course, you're inside. You're going because yeah. the time is going fast. Uh, but but you know, we we were really organised and you know we knew how long we had. So we we, we planned with that in mind. So we, mm. we we definitely had enough time. You know, uh, it was tight, but it was it was doable, and we, yeah. we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. Well done. Um, and, you know, Jordan, what was it like working with Leah and building that relationship? I mean, you know, it was 20 days, but did you meet beforehand, get to know each other before uh, filming? No, we never met beforehand, but we had, like, a mutual friend, so mm. we kind of, um, Anne Skelly, and uh, we had both worked with her, we were both close friends with her, but just had never met. So um, we were already kind of, like, became friends really quickly because we knew that we were in, like, a certain group of friends and, um, yeah, she, she was lovely and we got along really well. And um, it's funny because I feel like we are polar opposites, but get along and get each other and that, that helps with the roles as mm. well. Yeah. And, um, you know, the cast is brilliant. Aaron, Sean, and, you know, it's not an Irish film if Mo Dunford isn't in it. Uh, what was it like uh, getting Mo to come on board as Dan? Yeah, he was great. I mean, he, he had been in... in uh, 
Rob and Rebecca's film, uh, John Butler, who directed uh, Handsome Devil. Mm -hmm. So uh, they knew him from that, um, and and I had seen him in in a, in a few things. I'd seen him on stage. He was great in, in the play. Yeah, so Patrick's Yeah, Day that's my first seeing him as well. Yeah. I know, and a play called Assassins that he was mm -hmm. in a musical. Um, so he was he was great, and he was mm -hmm. so. Like giving and mm. was there when he yeah. didn't need to be, and he just is really passionate about doing a good yeah. job and is a great actor as well. Mm. And uh, Jordan, there's a scene where you do a bit of singing. Is that is that yourself? Stop asking that. <laughs> I don't want people to believe. So um, well, I I did well. I did have to sing so that the when we dubbed a voiceover, mm. it yeah. looked like realistic. So that was taunting. I I <laughs> you had to like give me the courage to you like, come on, Jan, you can do it. Okay, and I was nice. like, but just one time in school I sang for a play and everyone laughed at me. And you're like, you can do it. You can do this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, so I did sing, but mm. that's maybe not my voice. It's a very nice voice and it was a very good song. I thought it was very lovely. And uh, so when it came to that kind of story about, you know, first love and that, um, how did you guys feel about the story between, you know, Dan and um, Emma? Is this the kind of stereotypical type of love that you expect in a in an actual real life relationship, like the first love that kind of breaks your heart, um, or like that? I suppose we were sort of wondering at that age, you know, you're kind of trying to find your own mm. who you are, mm. um, Emma is, and so you know, someone like Dan represents maybe a possibility of of maybe escaping that yeah, world. Yeah, and even, like, I feel like Dan was kind of, like, you know, because Emma is in her own little world, um, and I feel like Dan is kind of, like, she feels as though he can give her that world, you know, he can introduce her to this, like, new world, because he was in a band, he's older. Um, so I think she's, like, chasing a life more mm. than, and, like, a kind of, him, an yeah. idea rather than falling for him. Yeah. So, um, and he... He definitely uh, convinces her that he can give her all of that. So um, yeah, it's it's like it's complicated, and you know, it, your your first love is complicated, and you know, yeah. So I think it'd be realistic. Yeah. 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 And what was it like? Um, just kind of you know, it's it's always interesting filming in Ireland and that. What was it like, kind of um, for this film, filming in such a a beautiful area like there's the, the there's the graveyard and that that's shown in particular scenes that's just absolutely stunning uh what was it like uh filming there for yourselves yeah glass nevin mm. we were we were there for for a few weeks um everyone was lovely to us mm. and uh we got lucky with the weather it was yeah. sunny i opened the, the curtains every day going oh god okay it's okay <laughs> uh so we, we we you know it's not always yeah. Dublin doesn't always look like that. So yeah. yeah, it was lovely to be able to make it. A, we want it to be sort of a world. It's slightly stylized, a little mm. bit kind of movie-ish. But uh, yeah, we didn't want it to make it too obviously anywhere anyway. It didn't yeah. matter that it was Dublin. It just could be could be anywhere really, uh, just suburban kind of mm. world. So yeah, um, hopefully that we 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 got that. Yeah. And uh, Jordan, uh, would you work again with uh, Hugh? You know, this was his first feature. You know, you know, a couple of mistakes, maybe, maybe he made you sing. But uh, would you work with him again? <laughs> yes. yes, obviously. Good. Good. Well, guys, of thank course. You. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's great. Thank you.